So it ends in defeat. What is your initial reaction after that defeat? Yeah, disappointing. Disappointing result. Um, I think we started the game really well with an early goal. Um, situations to score the second, perhaps the third. And Jimmy got a couple of shots from distance. Uh, Cook, very open situation after the set piece. Uh, the one by one of Ely, of course. And then yeah, the game changed with one individual mistake. And we need to get back again. Then in the second half, I think we started quite well. And yeah, we, we were trying to build some momentum. Unfortunately, the penalty killed all the momentum. Then it was just uh, the situation where we are after some defeats in a row. Of course, it's not easy to manage the emotional path for the games, uh, for the players, sorry. And then, yeah, we were not good enough to, to score um, the second goal. And is it concerning that individual errors are now costing us and it's turning into a theme in terms of the way we're conceding goals? It's always, it's always the dynamics of football when you're playing well. Um, yeah, all the small mistakes that the player can make because football is about mistakes. The whole team uh, managed to, to cover those. And when you are in a trend as we are, unfortunately, usually those mistakes uh, tend to punish more. What we need to do is to make sure that we keep on working really hard, harder than ever. Make sure that we keep believing. I do believe in those guys. And just to make sure that yeah, we work as good as we can to make sure that we turn the situation. And uh, when we did fall behind, did you get the reaction you wanted in terms of the commitment from the players after uh, falling behind? The commitment has been always there. And I think to, to comment on that makes no sense. The players are, I know how much they have been working the last two weeks, international break. It's not always the case that the players commit and engage as much as they did. And unfortunately, we didn't get the reward. So the only thing that we need to do is accept, accept, swallow uh, this, this pain that we have right now. Um, I know that a lot of people today will go home very disappointed with us and, and that's fair. And we just need to accept the critics and keep on working and, and, and yeah, make sure that we are better on Tuesday. And we do now in the afternoon bottom of the table. How does this get addressed and uh, how? when is the time almost to be concerned by that? You always look at the performances and never look at the table until the last moment of the season. So my main focus is to make sure that the performances improve. If we do, then the results will come. And then, yeah, we need to stay together, as uh, I've been always asking. That was one of the biggest strengths we got. And now, just because of a couple of yeah, uh, bad results, I will not change my approach. And yeah, if some people just want to criticise and think that everything is, is really bad, I'm convinced that when we're going to win some games in a row, I want to see them again and see where, where we are. And one positive today was uh, Kieran Morgan coming onto the field. What did you make of his performance? Yeah, I'm very glad. I think that he's showing uh, not only on the trainings, but happy for, for a young lad to, to get the opportunity. I think that he showed a lot of good things, playing with big personality, and that's what, what I ask from players. And hopefully it's going to be uh, the first of many for QPR in his career. And Vani, it was a sellout today. What is your message to those QPR fans to make sure they keep on backing the team also on Tuesday night? Keep believing, keep believing. I think that when I arrived last season, it was even a more complex situation. I remember games away against Millwall where it looked really dark and still all together we managed to turn the situation. So no one said uh, that this will be easy. Um, I accept the critics. They can push uh, as much as, as they think they can or they want. But um, I, I hope that we can give them a good, a good three points on, on Tuesday and that they keep believing because we need them. Thank you very much, Martin.